can search me for a hundred dollars. Spread, spread your feet. I'll spread my feet for a hundred dollars. Spread your feet. Whenever I get this many requests to cover the same video, you just know it's going to be a good one. And they were all spot on. This one has got to be in my top 5 arrests of the year so far. And that's saying something because we've had some doozies already this year. And this one does not disappoint. A deluded soft state spew in the script, a fee schedule amount for the weirdest of reasons, a quick arrest, and for this video only, a mortified girlfriend in the passenger seat. Right, let's get into the video. I'm not a driver. Okay, well, you are driving on the roadways in the state of Florida, so I need your driver's license or your identification. Like I said, I'm not driving. Okay, well, I am conducting a lawful stop. You are required to present me your identification, so I'll take whatever identification you have. Okay, I, I don't carry identification unless someone's going to pay me for my name. My name is registered as my property on the record. Let me okay. So, so what's your name? Okay, uh, I'm just recording this for the record. I'm not driving or operating a vehicle for hire on the roadways. And my name is my private property. And if you want my name, I'm conditionally accepting your offer just so I can stay in honor so you can arrest me. So my conditional acceptance for my name to you is you can give me $500 for my name. This guy really has fallen hook, line and sinker into this one I see. He even has the script and fee schedule memorised, how sad is that? It's a shame it's all for nothing. And look at the girlfriend face palming in the passenger seat like she knows she's going to be needing to make her own plans to get home. Nico 13, Auburn 1094 please. Sir, you will be arrested if you do not present some type of identification. Really? Excuse me? I said really? Yes sir, really. Why do I need to provide identification? You are operating a road, a vehicle on the roadways in the I'm state of Florida. Operating. Sir, with all due respect, you're behind the driver's, in the driver's seat, behind the driving. steering wheel. I'm not I've been driving behind. and this is in the driver's seat. Now, if you want to try and prove in court that I'm driving or operating a vehicle for hire, then fine, but I'm stating for the record that I'm not driving or operating a vehicle. Sir, I've been behind you since you were on Babcock, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. You've been in that seat the no entire time. No matter how you your script from your fraternal order of I'm telling you on the record, I'm not driving or operating. That's that's official. I'm okay. on the record. And if you want my name, it's five hundred dollars cap. First of all, a sovereign citizen accusing someone else of using a script is hypocrisy at its finest. And secondly, if you think you're going to be getting £500 in cash from this cop when you are legally required to give your name, then you are seriously delusional. Okay, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Sir, I can step out of the vehicle. You can for step five. out of the vehicle for I'll me. I'll step out of the vehicle for five hundred dollars. Step out of the vehicle. Roll over on your stomach. Okay, sir. Thank you so much to whoever accurately blurred out this specific area. It's bad enough listening to their word salad. I do not want to be subjected to their butt crack as well. Also, I love the way he went as limp as a ragdoll when he got pulled out of the car like that, as if not to assist with his own arrest. Hey sir, at this time you are being placed under arrest. You will be registered as a John Doe until you are properly identified. But I already said I'm not driving or operating. Okay, well yes sir, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not driving or operating a vehicle. Ma'am, do you have a valid driver's license? I do. May I see it please? Thank you. Can I speak to a supervisor because I'm still in honor and you're arresting me and I'm being fully transparent that I'm not a driver or operator and if you want my name, I'm conditionally accepting my name. I also have a request for a supervisor. Yeah, I've conditionally accepted your offer so I can stay in honor. I'm operating okay. on the honor system. Sorry dude, but you have been lied to. There is nothing honourable about breaking the law or becoming part of a group deemed domestic terrorist by the FBI. Try again. And you're not honouring, now you're in dishonour and I will prove on the record in court that my name is my property. I've registered it with the county recorder more than two years ago. So I hope you're still recording because I have my case number, my filing number, and my, Echo 13 to 504 my name is my over here, property. Please. When are these idiots going to learn that making a bunch of wild claims and then filing them with government agencies do not make those claims true? 
and I was not pulling over. I'm coming here to the printer because they have a print order for me I'm picking up, so I did not pull over. So remember that guys, the next time you get pulled over by the police, just pull into a private car park and bingo, it can't be called a traffic stop, apparently. More invaluable wisdom from the guy face down in handcuffs. I need to get him into a car. Well, I try to get him Stand down, man. Car. I can't. Roll to your side. Me and these are. Wait, wait, wait. You're hurting me. Roll to your side. Yeah, I know, but these cops help are on too tight. I hope you are. Alright. My phone is still recording. Yes, sir. We'll make sure you have your phone. But I want that on the record. Okay. Well, here. Here. As a matter of fact, you can continue recording. I'll stick in your pocket. I already conditionally accepted all of his offers for my okay. schedule, and he's in Anything on your person before you go back in my car? This will be his right here. And it's still recording. I'll answer any questions for $100 a question, question for cash. Anything on your person before you go back in my car? I will answer that question for $100 all right, cash. Alright, for I, you don't have the right. You can search me for five hundred dollars cash. I'm conditionally sure. accepting all of your offers for my fee schedule. There's no charge for and that. And you can, yeah, there is. I, I'm in honor. Okay. If you were in honor, then you would know that begging for crazy amounts of cash at every opportunity from a police officer is just so wrong. Plus, it's starting to sound a bit weird the way you're asking for it. I mean, what sort of person asks for five hundred dollars to be touched by a man in uniform? It's no wonder his girlfriend is mortified by all this. Okay, ma'am. Could you fill me on what's going on here? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand this thing. Okay. I don't understand that. I, I don't know. Okay. How do you know him? He's my boyfriend. Okay. I don't understand all that mumbo-jumbo stuff he talks, though. Are you trained on this at the Fraternal Order of Police? I'm an expert on honor, and I'm okay. in honor. Okay. What's his name? Uh, on what? Is this his vehicle? From what I... Yeah. I mean, I think his mom is still on Okay. I'll be right back. Thank you. Do you know, I've watched so many videos of soft-sick couples and both are usually in agreement with this nonsense. So it's quite unusual for a sovereign citizen to be fully into this and the other half to be completely in the dark or at least not interested in going down the rabbit hole. I wonder if a relationship like this can last. My name is my property. You, 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 you can search me for $500. I'm going to need your name because I'm going to charge you. This is the best moment. the car. I did not give you permission to search me without payment. You're violating my rights and my ability to conduct commerce. You're violent. You're in dishonor now. You can search me for $100. Spread your feet. I'll spread my feet for $100. Spread your feet. I'm not going to say a word about that other than to say the price has now gone down from 500 a search to 100. Give it 10 minutes and it'll let you do it for a pat on the back. No, you're, you're in dishonor. You know you're violating the rules of honor and I have done nothing wrong and I've accepted all of your, conditionally accept all of your offers for my food schedule. Are you recording? Yep, you're recording. You're violating my rights. I have done nothing wrong. I'm, I'm in honor. Yeah, you're violating all my rights. That's quite the feat. I would love to know how it's even possible to violate all your rights at the same time during one traffic stop. I'm in honor, and you're violating all my rights. I will come over there for a little Let's go. You're violent, man. You're assaulting me. Because you're resisting. Battery. Stop no, I'm resisting. Not, I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting if I'm conditionally accepting all of right, your get, offers get for my fee schedule. You get know I'm sir, telling the truth. The you're going yeah, in the dishonor. Get in the car. I'll get in the car for five hundred dollars. No, the car. you're forcing me. I'll get in the car. Get in the car. I already conditionally accepted your offer get for in money. The car. Get in the car. Dude, get in the car. You're assaulting and battering me, uh, and you're violating my rights. Get in the car. I conditionally accepted your, your offer Watch for your my fee schedule. Watch your knee. No, dude, you can't put me in jail. You can't do this. You guys are going into dishonor. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that while you're sat in the back of the police car in handcuffs. I love it when they slam the car door shut in their face while they're rambling on. So I get behind them at Babcock and uh, New Haven, mm -hmm. and his tag is fired. Light him up as soon as he comes right back. He's driving, 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 comes in here, parks in here, and he starts pulling that sovereign citizen stuff as soon as I got him pulled over. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. And they refuse to identify himself unless I paid him $500,000. The vehicle is not registered to him. I don't understand why he's playing this game. His license is valid, which means he, he submitted to being a lawful citizen at one point. Right. So he has a license and the car is not registered to him, so that can only mean one thing. It's his mother's car. Alright, well, 
I guess we go to jail now. Alright, here's your ID back. And, uh, do you have somebody else to come pick you up? Uh, it's actually his mom's car, so, um, more likely not. We'll go over and try talking to him again, but he's obviously not very cooperative. So, uh, I'll be right back. So if I left my wife stranded on the side of the road like this, especially for not producing the valid license I had on me, I can guarantee that she would not be my wife anymore, and rightly so. Get yourself a decent boyfriend who treats you with the respect you deserve, because this guy only thinks about himself. Good tour, right? Uh, just leave it on top of the roof. No, it, it's, it's actually his mom's car, so... Hello! Um, what is your, how is your relationship with his mother? I mean... We know each Amicable? Other. Like yeah. she can give you a ride and all that kind of stuff? I would hope so. Okay, no big deal. I just wanted to make sure you were comfortable with that too, because I believe she's going to have to come and pick up the vehicle. And I don't know how she's going to do that, because she, she would have to drive this car. Have you guys talked to her? Uh, they're calling her now. So, well, do you have a driver's license? Yeah, he checked You can drive her car. Well, that's what I asked him, and he said... You can't drive this car, though. The problem is, you're not any registered owner of the vehicle or any of that kind of thing. So if she shows up... If she shows up, she can take this car and you can take her car. Oh I know it sounds kind of weird. I don't know but it's all let me a, do that. But. It's all a possession and um, with the relationship and things like that. So even if she so, said I could drive this car? Well, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when she gets here. Okay. If she says it's okay, that may be a, a different aspect. But we will try to figure that out. The, the big thing is that we can't release a car to somebody that is not theirs. Right. You know what I mean? So, I, I got it. But just hang tight. I'm not closing the door on you. To get away from me. It's just hot and I want you to have nice air. So. <laughs> Exactly. Tell it to the judge so he can laugh at your ridiculous defence for driving your mother's car illegally. Of course, it's his mother's car. When will these idiots learn that trying to hold court at the side of the road is something only a fool would do? I'm in honour. I can't be arrested for go staying in honour. And my name is my property on the record. I recorded it with the county recorder. I said you can have my name and that's not dishonour. Alright, just have a seat in there, sir. I'll loosen it for you. Not, dude, really? Go back and put a finger in there. I mean, really? Just get in the car, okay? It's going to make things a lot easier and you're not going to be in as much trouble. I feel like you're threatening me and I haven't. Yeah, you are threatening me. Thank you very much, sir. Two car door slams in a sovereign citizen's face in one video. We are being treated well today. Now, only if we could get a third. How are we making out? I left her a message. She didn't answer. Okay. I left her a long message. <laughs> What's that phone number again? Maybe if she gets another phone call. Hang on, Andrew. Hang on. Any luck? Oh, no, I didn't call her again because like, you said you were. No, no, bro. I did. Um, I did call her a couple times. She didn't answer. Um, and, th and they took his phone, right? Because I'm thinking that's why she's not answering. She don't know any of her. Well, I left a message to you. To be fair, I wouldn't pick up if I were her. He probably charges her $500 for every call. Do you have someone that can come pick you up? My sister's on the phone. She's got a, she's got a broken arm, so she's trying to get dressed. And I guess she can come. It's, Where's she coming from? We live in the northeast Palm Bay. So not too far. Yeah. Well done, driver. Your selfishness is not only disrupting the life of your girlfriend, but it's about to disrupt the life of the sister who has a broken arm. Time to kick him to the curb, I think. Alright, sounds good. Um, if you can just start facilitating that, because we're going to have to tow the vehicle. That's the case. Oh my god, really? Like, someone can't just come in? Like Not unless they're the registered owner of the vehicle. Right, but I'm saying, like, if, if I were to be able to get a hold of her, like, my sister might be able to drive me over there. Maybe I can get a hold of her yeah, right, that way. Hi, sister's house. Um, I just, I well, no, that's where we're at right now. So, like I said, we have to be able to speak to the registered owner of the vehicle. Right. She has to be okay with all that kind of stuff. So if we can't, we're gonna tow the vehicle. So if he can just start grabbing a ride and okay. have somebody come get you, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. You ready to put him back in yours? All right, sir. You're gonna get back in the other car.
word salad incoming because if you keep repeating it it's bound to work at some point right at least that's his philosophy my name is my personal property on the record that's fine you guys are violating the law and all in honor and you know i'm correct about everything i'm saying you're violating the law. You guys are committing crimes right now, and I'm going to file claims against you guys on the record. Okay, so your name's going to be available to me. You guys are, are cheating and Turn lying and now stealing. Correct. First of all, if they knew you were correct about everything, you wouldn't be on your way to jail in a pair of handcuffs. And secondly, the only person cheating and lying is you about the law and reality. Hey, sir. Quick question. No, keep your feet in the car. Do not get out of the car. Do you understand me right now? I'll stay in the car for $100. Listen, you're I'll staying... stay in the car for $100. That's what? my conditional how acceptance. Is, how offer. is your relationship with your mother? She's probably sleeping right now. Okay. Look, I'll answer all your questions for $100 per question, cash, in writing. Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out what we're doing with your vehicle. Well, you're taking me for no reason. I. That's not a vehicle. Why isn't she answering That's not a vehicle. It's a car. She's 85 years old, and I'll answer all the rest of your questions for $100. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. A third car door slam. Now that's got to be some kind of record for one video. Now I wonder who he will guilt trip into paying those towing fees. I bet it ends up being his 85 year old mother. We're just going to show it. Okay. He's 85 years old he said and I'll answer my questions for $100 a question. You get clear to sell outside for that right? Yep. I'm sure you're busy, but when you get a chance, can we get a record of rotation? We're at the uh, Better Copy on uh, New Haven here. So the uh, Prius, please, the regular will be fine. All right. I'll let her know we're towing it. And we, just need a we just need a regular tow form for this, right? Yeah. Because we're not actually taking possession of the right. vehicle. All right. All right, ma'am. Unfortunately, we are towing the vehicle, okay? We can't get a hold of her. And, um, I think she was just calling his phone, well, we just, and I don't know why she's calling his phone. We just tried calling from her his phone. Oh, you have his phone? Yes. And did she? She didn't answer. Oh, okay. Then it, okay. So I just saw it. it maybe through. it picked up. Yeah. On there. We done. tried using it. I tried seeing how his relationship is with his mother. Like maybe she didn't want to answer the phone because I don't know. She might be sleeping. She's well, that's 85. what he said. Oh, that's what he said. We yeah. didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, I bet she's conveniently asleep a lot when it comes to anything to do with her son. Um, so if you can just get a ride. Yeah, my sister's working on it. Like I said, she's got a broken arm, no so problem. she's slow. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Is this his normal demeanor? He has this thing about, yeah, that I, I, I thank God I've never been with him when he's been pulled over before, because... I'm traumatized now, but <laughs> he, um, yeah, that, that's his thing. Okay, no, no big deal. I'm just I, making sure everything I, else is okay and there's not other I just issues at hand. So no, we're aware I don't think he's them. crazy. <laughs> he talks crazy, but... Well, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, and this guy has repeated himself a lot in this video, so take what you want from that. Also, if you ever find yourself in a position where you're trying to convince a cop your boyfriend isn't crazy, then yeah, he's probably crazy. Um, I mean, so... He, I, did he, okay, so is there something wrong with the car? Because I thought that's what the police officer said. We stopped him for something. Right, and I, I thought he said something about the car hasn't been registered or something since March, or I, I don't know. I, all I know is his mom co I don't know the, the car. Yeah, well, I don't know the initial reason for the stop. I just know that he was asking for someone to come back him up. So there was a lawful reason why he stopped the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. On, he knows to me what the reason is. Gotcha. Um, Do you know what and there's are now? Well, there's at least a resisting. Because um, there's certain obligations when the vehicle gets stopped that you have to comply yeah. to. And that's where we're at with that. So, but he will not be going home today or until later today. Right. Um, other than that, that's pretty much where we're at. And you um, have a lot of books flying. In there. But um, as long as you, you're getting squared away with the ride, we should all be good now. And then once you get picked up, that should be the end. All right. All right. All right. <laughs>
The suspect was charged with resisting an officer and posted bond later that same day. His case is still ongoing, but his asking fee has increased to $15 million, according to a letter to the court. Yeah, because that's how reality works. You break the law, pluck a figure out of thin air, and then use that to threaten and then intimidate people just doing their jobs. That's not going to backfire at all now, is it? Or you could just register your mother's vehicle and not resist the rest. Works great for most of us. Right, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video in particular, please first subscribe to Crime Scene Cam, the channel where I sourced this video. And then this channel if you enjoy my work. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.